It's all good, good. OJ Chit Chat. OJ Chit Chats. It's all good. It's juicy. Welcome to OJ Chit Chats. I'm Unyo and with me is Jake Abdullah. And our guest today is Hans Isaac. Welcome to the show. Hi, bro. Hey, you're turning 50 this year. Huh? Dude, do we have to announce this? <laughs> Come on. Man. Yeah, I'm turning 50 this year. The big, big 5 0, man. It's okay. Like, you're talking to a guy who's past 50 already. <laughs> <laughs> but then again, I got to keep up with you because you're in the gym doing really well, man. I fo- and I follow your Instagram and I watch all your workouts, bro. So. Yeah, we should do one together, man. I so, know. It's about time. So, Hans, tell us what's been happening the last two years. Like, you've had, you know, and then we'll get into the details of it because you've had a pretty, I would say the ebb and flow was just madness. There was just ups, a lot of ups, a lot of downs. Then And then you were, you know, so tell us about it. And some interesting, uh, you know, um, things have happened to you lately. So we'll get into that, but just in your own words, Len. Yeah, in general, bro, um, it's basically, I think after uh, for 14 months, I was the chairman of the film board, FINAS. Mm-hmm. And obviously after the change of government, uh, we were all obviously uh, asked to, well, we were asked to leave. Um, and basically after I realized that, you know, I mean, other than being in a creative industry for so long and all the businesses that I, I, I dwelled in and so on, I thought it's time for me to do something for other people. So I created this NGO, uh, Kita Buddha Kita Ampang. Buddha, Kita Buddha Ampang. Ampang. Yeah. And uh, although it says Ampang, but we also work with uh, people outside of Ampang, meaning Subang, in Pahang, when we had the floods. Uh, when any issues that we have, we'll try to help as much as we can and go out. So it's not just about Ampang. Obviously, the core of the group is in Ampang. It's built for the Ampang people because I've been living in Ampang for 40 over years. And so I thought, you know, this is something I need to do at my age, you know, <laughs> inspire, develop uh, the younger generation, unite people together. You know, it's not just about CSR. It's about the pro program. We do sports programs, badminton week. Uh, you know, Moto Vespa week. I do, I do little things that just unite people, bro. That's basically it. So let's go back to what you said just now. So yeah. were you asked we, to we, leave? No, we were asked to leave. We were given letters, I think, a day before I had to leave. You know, I mean, the whole entire board and myself as a chairman, my deputy chairman and so on. I think they wanted their regime uh, to come in, um, which is fine. You know, this is normal in politics. You know, the word was you were doing some, uh, some, some good changes and all that. And then post that till now, there's been so many, you know, turns and, and would you explain, have they improved? Wow, 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 wow. Um, I, I, I'm biting my tongue on this one, bro. <laughs> <laughs> During your, your short time there, right, what would, could you outline, what were the key KWSP things was that the you wanted to me. do? You know, and I think I fought for, for KWSP when I was there. I didn't manage to do it in 14 months um, because it was just the hurdles were just tremendous. Tremendous. When, when you say you fought for KWSP, can you ex- explain? I, I, I wanted freelancers in my creative industry to be able to receive uh, EPF and SOXO um, and on a contract basis. Because as you know, the system on contract basis is basically on, uh, on, on personal, into, uh, personal knowledge or if you wanted to do it yourself. Uh, self input to it, but uh, I want it to be mandatory uh, for contract staff in the creative industry because I felt that after a certain age, when you get older, you suddenly are you're lost in the industry. You know, you're a veteran and that's it, and then you don't there's, get much. And jobs. There's no fallback. There's no security. There's no medical. There's no nothing. One hundred percent, bro. Nothing. You're on your own. And and when I was in my mid-20s, I think, I built a, sister, a program called Own Your Own Housing for the creative industry. Irrelevant was a $80,000 house. I remember this, this, was a, this was in, in Damansar Padana, isn't it? Yes, yes, uh, yes. Yes, yes, yeah. So I built that program and, and we sold a lot of properties on it because we could get, I, I worked out discounts. I worked out programs for them to, to earn it because you don't even have an uh, income tax form. So how do you get bank loans through without income tax form? So all this, I had to, to work around and work with the banks and work with the agency to try to get this done for that program. And I managed to. And today, I would say over 100 of our people own their properties because of that program. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and mm-hmm. no one knows that I did that. <laughs> mm-hmm. That was a housing program for yeah, people yeah. in the industry, is it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That was done before you were chairman of Finas, right? Oh, yeah. Way a long before. Time. I was still an actor. A long time ago. Yeah. I was a young man. <laughs> <laughs> So you've always had a little bit of an activism streak in you. I, I wouldn't say that. I, I always, I, I don't say activism. I just say that, look, you've got, to go, you've got to do good things for people, you know. We fall along the way. We make mistakes along the way. And, and I, I am, 
I, I'm similar to everyone else, including you know, the two of you guys. You know, we're, we're not perfect. But what we can do is to try to make things better for other people and stop being selfish. I feel being selfish is one of the worst things that, that we could have in our, in our nature. We need to, to say, look, I, I, I can benefit, but I must benefit with a core group of people or more people that I can I have around me to benefit, not just ourselves. So whatever programs I build, it's always looking at the bigger picture. How many more people can I touch? How many more people can I help? It's always been in me. Hence why now this is the bigger picture here. Secondly is the restructure of the associations. Or second, you know, not to kick them out, not to, to shut them down, but to restructure. And I had a restructure plan, a uh, business plan put together already. Uh, it required funds. So we had to go back to the RMT 11 or the yearly budget or where we're going to get these funds. Um, getting back the, uh, the tax from the states. Now, from each state, you have a cinema tax of 26%, I think, 25-26%. Right? Uh, duty Hiburan, it's called in Bahasa and Malaysia. And I, after I left Venus, I continued in Slango with the MBA Slango to try to, to, to get that. And I managed to get it on my own. And I was, remember, I was really finished with Venus. And I managed to get this done, deal done with the MBA Slango, current MBA of Slango to bring it down to 10%. Sorry, so 15%. So I got a 10% discount on the tax. And Slango, the Clang Valley, is a huge income for cinemas when we are at the prime of our cinema business. Today, it's a bit not so good because of COVID and so on. But when the time comes back, these producers and the industry will get back the 10%. Now, all the states can do this because it's, it's, the cinema business of tax is most on international films. But local films, why do we need to tax duty Hebrew run on, and, and, and cinema tax on local films? So my intention and the board's intention at that point was to get that back for the industry, but still have the international tax for the international films. So this was the benefit of us producing local films for local content. And with that money, that money could be injected into cinema movies for quality for the future. So it's a circle that we needed to create, but we need to start that wheel going, you see. That was my intention. So there were three or four things that I wanted. A lot of people don't realize when I came in my office, I had about 27 issues on the board that I wanted to fix. And I told my team, if we get 10, we have one already. <laughs> How many did you manage to do? Wow, what was this? Uh, oh my God, I, <laughs> I got to go back to the people and look quite a lot. Um, let me see what, what did we do. Uh, we brought in over 280 million worth of investment uh, when I went to Cannes. Uh, that was something I want to bring in. Our FEMI program that we had, it was bringing international films. I think some Star Wars, uh, Netflix projects, uh, National Geographic projects. So it was in hitting international standard content. Um, things like that, uh, making sure that the grant system was restructured so there could be no hanky-panky in the grant was, system. Was there hanky-panky? I was getting to that. At that point, no. But I will watch, mm. no, because we're very strict. And Before I, that? I remember, uh, I think a lot of companies that get it, we don't even know who the companies are. Mm. So we mm. question, like, who's this? Because we know the industry. We know the mm. players. I've so been small, in right? Yeah. It's, mm. so, it's too small. Mm. You know who are the big guns. You know who mm. are the people that are creating they are our friends and everyone because we came from the system. Mm -hmm. But then when the company comes out, it shows us, who are these people, man? 90% of the companies are either newly created or where are these companies coming from to get these grants? So that, that's a question. But they go through a process. Now, I, must, mm -hmm. I must say that it's a process. The process has its loose points for mm -hmm. manipulation that I saw personally. Mm -hmm. But to change the system, it goes through a process as well. It's not I can sign something or get the CEO or the board to sign it. It's just that's the first round. There are layers before that could be changed, you see. But before it could be changed, we were already out. So that was it. I'm very proud of one thing that Finas has. And then, you know, I, I may question them a lot, but I will always admit one thing that is amazing in Finas. It's called FIMI. Filming in Malaysia Incentive. It is a budget that we encourage foreign productions to come in and we give them a rebate on their cost of expenditure in Malaysia on receipt and audit. And when I was in Cannes for seven days, that is how I brought back 200 of a million worth of business. It was through mm. the FEMI program. Because mm -hmm. everybody came to the small Malaysian booth in the corner going, we heard about your FEMI. And mm -hmm. then we sat there and we had about 30 companies in front of us. And what mm -hmm. we did was four staff and myself, three staff and myself and the KSU, we mm -hmm. sat at the back and guaranteed these investors to come to the country with these companies, local companies, to merge with them. And we as a government will support it. So when somebody sat in front of a producer, behind was a government agency standing going, we're supporting them. 
So they had the security of a government support as well. They were confident to come into the country. What was the budget allocation for this uh, FEMI project? Uh, FEMI, uh, it is about 200 of a million yearly, I think. Uh, and we give away, I think, a, a certain portion, percentage of your, your, your expenditure locally. You see, it's a great, great uh, format. And I think Dana, our grants should be exactly like that. There's a grant in Finance called Dana DKD, which we give out like, to everyone. From, uh, from macro uh, productions to film productions to TV. And, but the format is very wrong. To receive how you get the grant and how you qualify the grant, they should change that format of FEMI in and Dana DKD to the FEMI format. An audit and financial audit and documentation. So there's no manipulation. So you're actually spending every dollar to the content. Earlier just now, you mentioned that um, you wanted to also restructure the associations. Oh, oh. Uh, oh. Which associations oh. are you referring um, to? to? We have a lot. Of, we have okay. We have core about four or five major associations, but we have a lot of smaller individual ones that open up. I fight with you. I fight you. I break. I create my own association. It just works out that way. So what I, my plan was to basically is to unite all, have only a maximum of ten associations. Then each of the 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 the, the, the president of the association becomes on a board, and then they vote their chairman like Finas, and basically Finas will house them all in one building in a corporate building on a floor and say, look, now we're going to fund you. We're going to manage this properly. We're going to make sure that the, the copyrights are with you. We're going to make sure that the EPF is with you. Insurance are with you. And, uh, and the, the, the work hours you have, the, all the programs that you can design because then they'll be united under FINAS. So then we only deal with one person, the chairman or the CEO. We don't have to deal with every day. Uh, every day, there are too many people coming to FINAS and you just can't handle it. So then it becomes... But what? What type of associations are these? Okay, you can cinema, you give us an example? FDM, uh, Profima, uh, PFM. These are all the big producer uh, associations under the creative industry. You've got Sabah, you've got Sarawak, you know, you've got the, the Chinese Actors Association, the Indian Association of Actors. Uh, it, just, it, it doesn't end. You know, it just doesn't end. Something yeah. you said just now is just nagging him in my head. It's, it's about oh. the process of giving out these grants. <laughs> and you sort of, and you sort of loosely just let it go there. But yeah, I just yeah, want to yeah. know, I, yeah, yeah. I just want to know. So, do people actually believe that it's, you know, what it's a given? There's a grant there. If I just apply for it, I get it, and nobody's monitoring the outcome. I don't. It's monit- uh, I don't know about the outcome, but there, there is a, a process before you receive all the funds. Uh, I think twenty five percent, blah blah blah, and so on. You see, but I think the process is loose. You see. Uh, there is no actual physical officer going down to check the quality of the content when they're filming uh, the pre-production process. You know, I think Lina Tio had a wonderful paper that she presented with her team. And I thought it was a wonderful because they followed the Australia, Australian associations of the grants where they had. And I thought that paper was very good, but I don't know what happened. It didn't go through, you see. So it's about giving the money to the right people. You know what I mean? That's the key factor here. Not... Uh, wow, there's a grant next month. Okay, I opened up a $1 company. I put 50000 in my uh, bank to show that I got 50000 and I draw it out after I, I have the, the this bank statement. And then I go and apply for the grant. And then I know the friend in Finas, oh, I dapat lah, $1 million. And so then I find that, somebody... Is to that what's happening? Yeah, that's exactly what's happening. <laughs> Come on, man. Let's, let's be honest about this. No, no, I, mean? I, I know. So I, I just want to hear it from you because we hear about all this and, you know, so again... Like because, I said, sorry, Jack, let me just, let me just say mm-hmm. this. Why I say this is because I know there are a lot of content people who got grants who haven't fulfilled the contract and mm-hmm. not delivered the contact, co- a contract. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm not mm-hmm. going to mention names that I'm going to have course, legal letters on my table again. So, you know, I'm going to just say that I, as a board, I can't reveal this information because I sat on the board I, I, as a PNC, uh, you know, that I cannot share with everyone. But I do know there were cases that, that happened. So even if it's one case or two cases, it should be a case study to improve the system that not even one case happens. I'm not saying all the cases are like that in all the grants. What I'm saying is if I was leading and I, I had the power to do so, even if there's one case, I would ask the office, all right, put a committee together, find out why this case is, and then improve the program or the system of getting the grant. That, that doesn't happen again. So we protect the rakyat's money. It is taxpayers' money at the end of the day. Exactly what I'm getting to. Because to me, it's, there's a governance issue. The second yes. thing is, I don't think there's short of grants. I think the grants are not used well enough. 
You know, yeah. if if yeah. we can use ninety five percent of these grants to you know great fruition, better movies and stuff, then we can reassess. But the issue is not that we don't have enough money. I think the money is not disseminated well enough. I think yeah. that's what we're trying to establish. Yeah. I, I I just pray and hope that this new mm. regime is doing that and they're doing what's right. You know, and 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 I, I just hope that. But I, I'm mm. biting my tongue right now. Speaking about the new else. new regime, uh, <laughs> um, what do you think about the new regime? I don't think he wants to comment. <laughs> but Hans, you know, j- just now you um, you mentioned that uh, when, when you know, with the change of government, then you were asked to uh, to leave. And um, there's also uh, news reports, speculation about you potentially, uh, you know, running for office, oh, no, 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 no. KR yeah. and stuff, which you, which you've denied. No, 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 which I, you've denied. I, I, I didn't but, deny. Uh, I, I, let me let me say. Let me let me clear it straight away here. Okay. I am a member of PKR, but. Talking about running for for a position in any uh, area of Malaysia, uh, I have never stated. My job right now is to work in Ampang, to build Ampang, to unite Ampang, to make sure that 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 that, that uh, programs and CSR programs are helped to the people, and that's my goal. So I say this: I just do the work. Everyone around me is saying that. I have not said that. So it's now gone around that people say, oh, Hans is saying this. No, no, I, I've never said this. Never, never have I said it. Even though it's what you should, you should. If the opportunity arises, which is out of my control, I will consider, I will think about it carefully and say, can I deliver? If I can't, why should I run? I need you. I, any position that you hold, you must know you can deliver to your boss or to whoever you're answerable to. If you cannot I will not take it. If I can't do it, I'll say, no, this is not for me because I will not be able to, to get the results for my boss. No. no. So I, 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 How long have you been a member of PKR? A year plus. A year plus? Yeah. Okay, so not, not long, huh? Not long, I don't remember. <laughs> what what yeah. made you... Okay, this, this is interesting. Tell us, what made you decide to join PKR? I just thought it was a more united uh, for all races, for everyone uh, to unite. I felt the president's direction was fantastic. Um, it was amazingly intelligent man. Intelligent, uh, doing research on on the, on Sri Anwar. We I saw that he was the most successful. I think I don't know, maybe right or wrong, but from what I hear, he was the most successful finance minister when he led uh, Ministry of Finance. Um, you know his vision. My conversation that I've had with him, his vision is amazing. Uh, I can't share everything here. You know, it'll just be too long. It's an hour conversation, and and I was just intrigued by this man. I was like, wow. Is the, the, even the, the manner of how he speaks, it's just another level. You're going to need a dictionary for this, man. <laughs> I was like, oh, 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 I got to, you know, really, con- you have to listen. And when he speaks, you will listen. Did somebody introduce you to the party? No, 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 no. I, I've lived in Ampang for 40 years. The uh, PKR has been leading Ampang for, for three terms already. And unfortunately, our, our, our representatives have, have, uh, did, was part of the Sheraton move. So I, I, you know, we, we leave it as that, you know what I mean? So I, I, I've worked with all governments, you know, so just, just remember in the AMNO days and BN days, I worked for that government as well uh, in the creative industry. And then yeah, you were very close to do Saleh Krua. Saleh Krua. He was yeah, a fantastic, yeah, yeah. fantastic yeah, good man. man. Fantastic <laughs> man. You know. But you were never a member of AMNO, were you? No, 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 no. BN, no, no. Okay, so PKR is your first, par- your first, first. party? Your first party? Okay. First, first, you know, and and the previous government with with Minister Gobin there, you know, he was DAP. I worked with him as well, and you know, and and I, I don't have any. If, if you when you work, you just got to realize, okay, this is government of the day, and I got to work. I have to work. I'm part of the system. I got to do it for my industry, for myself, for the people around me. Politics aside, you know, um, I would I would irrelevant of who is leading the country. I would always give my best for the country. What are your thoughts about the Sheraton move? Oh man, you guys are trying to get me in trouble, man. It's like, <laughs> come on, you guys. You're, you're I, in the I, political I, I, arena now. You gotta, you gotta. I, I did, okay, <laughs> I, I, I disagree on the move, you know. But obviously, the twelve who moved had their reasons, you know. What I mean, and and I, I disagree with the reasons, but they feel it's right, and I feel it's wrong. That's my opinion. They have their opinions, you know. What I mean, they are more senior politicians than anyone else. They, you know. So for me, it's. I, I think there should be there should be acts to not allow that to happen in the near future because the people vote for, yes, I understand the individual, but the individual is also linked to the party. 
So it plays, the party plays a huge part of the governance of federal, which is to lead the country. So you can't just backdoor or side door or whatever and suddenly change government because of that. And what, what happens to all those votes of those people that, that voted for that party? So you're not, you're not appreciating or acknowledging those votes. And that is for me, as a voter who has to line up for sometimes an hour plus or so to put in my vote, I'm upset, you know what I mean? Me personally. I, you know, yeah, me personally. I, I do agree. You know, as a voter, I think it left a very sour taste in everybody's mouth. And, yeah. Uh, you yeah. know, the, the next GE15 and everybody's thinking like, hey, hang on. Um, yeah, you know, we accomplished so much at GE14. Now, GE15 is like, I don't know. I don't know whether I'm going to turn up, you know. So, I'm going to cut you off there, bro, because mm-hmm. you have to turn up, bro. Yeah. You cannot, do not, do not, do not say no to this country. Do not say no to your vote. Do not belittle your vote. You have a right. You have a right to vote, and that is for the country. Irrelevant of who you vote for. I'm not going to preach of who to vote right now, okay? But what I'm saying is, you need to come out and vote again. If you believe in what, what you believed in the last GE, continue believing in it. Because the, 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 the term was cut short. You know, I, I don't think anybody could turn around a country in two years, was it? Two, two years? They told me, yeah, no, no, impossible, impossible. What do you think are the prospects for GE15 when you look at the situation? Man, you're asking me questions. Quite, this is quite severe questions, man. It's more for senior politicians, you know, not for me, bro. <laughs> you've, you've jumped into the ring. <laughs> I know, but, but you know, I'm, building my, I'm building it and I'm learning every day, you know. Um, sometimes people say you're, you're going too fast. Sometimes you say, you know, you work too hard, Hans. But I believe in working. I believe in results. I believe in working hard. Sometimes people don't appreciate that or they see it differently. I, I just feel I, I'm... I'm I've grown up as a worker. These hands and this brain is to work. And that's all I know how to do all my life. And I enjoy doing it. No, I mean, having that star power, right? That name recognition is advantageous in politics. It's an advantage. It's whether you're able to make use of that advantage. Yeah. You know, I, I, I don't want people to see me as Hans the actor anymore. You know, I, I, I've, I've, that, I've done that for 30 years. But people didn't know my, my corporate side of me in those 30 years. I ran three businesses. I'm on the, the last seven years, I've been on the board of a public listed petroleum company. And they're one of the biggest in Southeast Asia, in KL, in Malaysia. And, and these are things that it's, it's a multi-billion dollar company in terms of, of assets and so on and, and, and yearly turnarounds, turnovers. But we, we have to, you have to look at the side of what Hans is about. What is Hans? What are my, my priorities? What are my directions? These are things that people need to understand because everybody thinks, oh, pelakon, ha, 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 ha. Do you want to make But they, they don't have the conversation with me. So now I have to translate that message to them. I need to go out and show them that, look, this is the other side of Hans that you, I kept aside for many years. I, I hid it from people. I love business. I love the corporate structure. But I was an actor. You know, when I went for meetings for a job, I ah, actor, how can we give this contract to this actor? Does he know anything? Pelakon, ha, ha, ha. You know, I had to, to get a contract was difficult for me in my younger days. It was so difficult. I couldn't, couldn't pay rent, you know what I mean? It was stuff like that, you know? I, I didn't come from a very wealthy background. You know, we just had enough. And th- that's my background. But I believe everything that my parents put in me, I'm using it today. Of being a good person, a guy with integrity, a guy that respects people. You know, I, can, I, I sat in a plane once and I sat with a 14-year-old kid, girl, and she was talking to me about her life. And I listened and I, I learned so much from a 14-year-old. Some of my best friends are 75 years old. One guy is 80 plus. Good friend of mine. So I, I don't care about age. I don't care about money. I don't care about position. I don't care about power or what your status is. Your title is in front of you. I, I really don't care. I care about what you do for people. I, I, can I just share something about, about what we are, we are just early on? Let's add on it. I've, I've said this a lot and I'll continue saying it. I think if we are tired of what we see in parliament and uh, some characters that are there, because I watch Parliament on TV and so I go, oh my gosh, is this how they communicate to each other and respect each other in Parliament? Atrocious, and the yeah. Rakyat are watching. Mm-hmm. The youth are watching. Is this how we are educating them to participate in their lives with other people? So I, I disagree. I was like, oh my God, this is so embarrassing. And people tell me, your Parliament is like, you know, from foreign countries, like, wow, wow, it's another level altogether. And I'm like, well, <laughs> uh, I watch it. I need to learn from this. But it's about change. And if you don't want an individual there, it is up to you to go out and make that happen. It is simple as that. And so if you have 220 uh, MPs in, in, in parliament and you change 50 or 60 to new ones, that system will slowly start to change. 
the communication will start to change. I am friends with people from three other parties. We can sit down and play golf. We can talk. They talk it together in the morning, have breakfast. Different parties totally. But we can sit and respect one another. There's no argument. There's no, hey, bodo, hey, bale, you know, bapa data, whatever. None of that. Man, we are it's just... just terrible. I hear those conversations in parliament yeah. and I think, God, you know, this is so it's terrible. It is it's so embarrassing. Mm. Mm. But we have some quality ones there. You, you can't take that away from a few. You know what I mean? We do. So I, we cannot just shoot down all this. No, no. I know some good ones as well. They are, you know, I, I respect Gobin. He's unbelievable. Hana, you know, I think she's on your show. I follow her social media and I, I love what she does. You know what I mean? Saleh Kluwa is to me, you know, uh, he's with BN, but he's a great guy. What a quality man he is. You know what I mean? Hans, COVID yeah. aside, I mean, obviously COVID has put a, a stop on a lot of things, right? on business, yeah. uh, on, on the, the, the film industry, on, 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 on parliament even, you know, uh, because of the emergency and all that. So everything... Very political, on, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everything's on a, on a standstill right now. But yeah. COVID aside, let's say going forward, I mean, you know, with the vaccine coming and let's say things go back to normal, you know, a year from now or whatever... Where, where do you see yourself? Do you see yourself still doing acting? Do you see yourself directing acting or more into businesses or doing business or more uh, into politics? Where, where do you see yourself uh, say, I think, a year from now? Uh, I think the business always has to be there um, because it's, it's, it's like this company, I started it from a handphone, a landline. Tall, tall, you know? tall order, right? Tall order, yeah. I got Social 360, who was an insurance company and so on. Um, and then, you know, I have, I, I dwell in a little bit of property and so on. I'm op- currently about to open up a, a car rental business in Langkawi and they're all convertibles, <laughs> only convertibles. So we're, we're shipping cars in, um, restaurants. I have a restaurant in the Damansara called John, um, for Northern Indian food. I, I just, I dwell in little, little things here, you know, but business always has to go because, um, to do politics, you're going to need some funds as well. Uh, and I do want I do want to move forward towards politics right now, and and try to make a bigger difference. Um, so yeah, I see both of that acting and producing directing is going to be a hobby for me. Before it was my income. Today I've converted it to my hobby. Right, right. And you know, you mentioned you've you've uh, interacted with uh, Anwar. Do you do you actually interact with him a lot? I text him. I reports. Sometimes he doesn't respond because he's got like thousands of people responding to him. So I understand, you know what I mean? And sometimes it's a very short two word, you know? <laughs> I understand. He's got so much on his plate. I understand it. So I don't take it personally. It's just, we do the work and we try to deliver. And, and you know, if, if, if a, a mandate is given out, we will follow and do what we need to do. You know what I mean? As simple yeah. as that. Yeah, you've given us a, a, a sense of what you think of him, which is very positive, right? Yeah. But yeah. Ba- based on Great the... Great man. Based on the... I- Interactions you've had uh, with him. Can you give us more details about? You should interview that to see Anwar. Why you ask me? Come for me. It's like ask you. You, you should get this. No, no. I, I, actually, I, I, I'm I'll tell you what. Of, I'm just. I'm just this. No, I, actually, Hans. The the reason I I wanted to ask your opinion is this. I mean, you know, having spoken to a lot of different people across the spectrum, right? Yeah. Uh, opinions on on Anwar is very polarized. Huh? Is is mm. as you know. It's very polarized. There are those who really think negatively of him. And yeah, yeah. It's just... You fall on the camp that, that thinks very positively. I want to get your insights. You know, uh, I, I, I'd like to know what you like about him. Even beyond what you've mentioned. It's already. very simple. His mind. I don't have that mind that he has, the knowledge that he has. I, I, I wish I had it. You know what I mean? And I respect people like that. I respect people who treat people equally. Who, 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 whose direction is to do what's right. You know what I mean? I'm not saying all politicians do things wrong. They are the ones that do right. We, guys, we can't shoot all of them down. You know what I mean? So we've got we've to manage this a little bit. Not manage, but it's, it is the truth. You know what I mean? This is the question is, what's the percentage? We want more right and good politicians and okay, you're going to have this. In every country, is the same. Let's not look at Malaysia. We, 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 we talk about ourselves like, we're the only ones like this. I tell you, in every country, probably in the world, they have the same problem. But it's just how to manage that we have better quality people that overrides the ones that we feel are not so qualified or not so towards the capacity of holding a post, you see, but got themselves there. Um, so in that I know it's very simple. I mean, I, I'm not a good friend that I know him so well, like other of his closest friends, but from the meetings I had with him, it's just, it's, and what I read about him and his policies that he does on his Facebook live and so on, it's his mind. I would say his mind. 
so you, during your interaction with him, you were impressed with his uh, intelligence, is it? Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. A hundred percent. Hundred percent. Very rare you meet someone like that, to be honest. Can you give us a, an example or illustration on what kind of things he said to you that that impressed you? You know that really. Okay, really I give one simple. On... I'm not. I, I can't tell you everything. Okay, there was a, a private conversation, and uh, this was about ten months, eleven months ago, I think, that I, I had this conversation with him, and he said to me. You know, Hans, uh, I'm a Muslim. I went, yes, I know. And he goes, my religion is important and key to me. Um, but I will never, ever let the rest go. The rest are equally as important. But my religion is important to me. And as a Muslim, and I'm not Muslim, he's Muslim, I respected that. I respected that he, he, he said that, you know what I mean? Um, I, I feel that is, is something that you need to have. You know, and it was a very one part of many, one part of many. I, I can't go into the rest. It was a, a PNC conversation. You know, so that's just one. I'm going to give you that. That's it. Interesting. Interesting. Speaking about uh, Dr. Sri Anwar, and, and it's quite curiously, you joined Petra Group, and I know that. So, uh, Who? Petra. Who joined Petra? You joined Petra, right? No, 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 no I'm not with Petra. No, no. No, I'm friends with you, know, and I'm friends okay, with Okay, because there's Petra. one article I saw that you were running yeah. some part of Petra. Yeah. I, yeah, I, I, we, the, uh, the conversations took place, but it didn't work out because it's cinema and the market of cinema okay. was not very good right now. So we didn't go with the, the structure. So mm-hmm. I, I, right now I'm not, you know, I'm friends with them. They're buddies of mine and they're going They're Today they're uh, doing really good stuff out there. So, so Aflin is with Petra and so is Patrick. Yes, and, heading, and, yeah. and, and I understand that, you know, they're not, it's also very close to Anwar. So, so, so what are your thoughts? Is, is Petra behind uh, or, or sort of an, um, Bro, can you can you can you invite Vino on the show? Because show they've done some really good stuff. I I know I, I was yeah, meaning yeah, to get Vino. You know they got yeah. vibes and then they got their Malay yeah. this one. So is it sort yeah. of a mouthpiece or vehicle for PER for PKR? No, I think they write about. I mean, when they launched it, I was there in Kota Kinabalu, and and they, it was talking for about everyone. vibes. Is it? You're talking about vibes. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. They, they 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 launched it on the premise of for everyone, you know. But at least stating the truth was the key factor. You know what I mean? Um, and I appreciate that. I, I like that that vision, you know, I mean, to say the truth no matter what. Because the policy that I would have is basically I will not belittle my audience. Whether I was an actor or whether I'm going to be a politician, I will not belittle them. You know what I mean? I will tell them the truth. It may hurt, but this is the truth. You know what I mean? So so I think with, with, with the, the vibes and, and, and what the setup there is, I think you know, something that's needed as well in the country, you know. Yeah, definitely. And also, it was interesting because they also interviewed uh, Dato Sri Najib. Yeah, to, to my, yes, to my they did. Yes, uh, Rocky Tobi. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that was quite interesting also. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, I, I wish them the best, you know. I mean, I, I think they'll, be, they'll do very good. I think they'll do very good. Yeah. You're not involved with Vibes at all, right? Are you... No, not right now, no. No, maybe in the near future. We don't know because... Actually, what did he want you to do for his well, group? I, built, I, I brought a proposal to build cinemas. Oh, to build cinemas. Wow. Yeah. Uh, what, are your, what are your thoughts on uh, GC uh, acquiring MBO? Came out the Good for GC because the market G- will Jesse. come back. Jesse, mm-hmm. market will come Jesse. back. Mm-hmm. The market will come back. And when market mm-hmm. comes back, they're, they're majority holders in the market. Mm-hmm. So it's a long-term investment. As long as you have the cash injection that you could sustain mm-hmm. through a year or two, why not? I would have done the same mm-hmm. thing if I was the CEO of, of, of mm-hmm. the company. And I said, buy it, you know, hold it. And then, when times are bad, all, when times are better, the blockbusters, we have a list of many blockbusters waiting in line. Mm. When that opens up and everybody's confident to go back to cinemas, the market's going to boom again. Mm. Uh, it's a vision. So you wanted to uh, roll out new cinemas. It's a new yeah. brand of cinemas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I can't tell you the whole business plan, bro. It's, it's... <laughs> Can on. you tell us the, the name, the proposed name? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. So uh, that... the... The, took the me six that, men, six months to, to build the paper for that man and research no, so the, on the thing that killed it was COVID, is it? Was yeah, it totally. We were building one, I was building one of my own before I, I met Petra and, and conversation. I was already building one already, halfway, and we had to stop. So Okay, so this might pick up again after COVID's over. I, I hope so, yeah. I hope so. I hope so. I, I will go back to, to looking at that. And I have a team to run that side, the, the cinemas. So your, your team so how many people do you employ? And- I mean, this office, I have one, two, I have a, a social media team, I have a political team, I have the NGO team, I have my accountant, uh, I think about 11 of us, 12 of us here. I've never, I haven't, you know, I haven't fired anybody and I kept good. all the staff all the That's way good. through. It, I'm, I'm, it, it's hurting every month because business is so bad right now, the last year or two, but I, I didn't, I didn't let anyone go, man. No, that that's good, good for you. Good that's to good to hear. To hear. 
Hey, so you mentioned you have a social media team, and that social media team is to 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 serve you. Is it to create social media content for you or for clients? Uh, or clients and me. Clients and me. Both. So you do have you do have clients that you service. Uh, you provide yeah, yeah, social yeah, media. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is it is that through an agency? No, direct. The agencies come to us, and then we build the content. Uh, we film the content, and then we send it on social media. Um, depends on what they want. You know what I mean. Um, and then obviously half the time of the team is building the Kita Buddha Ampang uh, videos that we can shoot out to promote what we've done and so on to get more support for the for the NGO stuff like that. You know what I mean? How big is your social media team? Three people. Three people, and then your political team. Five. So what do these guys do? These five people. Come on, guys! You guys, man, <laughs> it's political. I'm not sharing my game plan. Come on. <laughs> I don't want to answer that. Come on, guys. <laughs> they Fair work enough. hard. They work hard. They're loyal and they work hard. But they're only loyal people in this office. And, 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 and they've been with me years. My company has been with me for over 20 over years. Most of my staff have been here. When they come in, they ne- they've not left. They've all been here all the way through. So, uh, Hans, do you predict G15 is... It's strange, uh, you know. Um, it seems like it. But my question is this. If you're in power, why would you want to let it go? My question you know what I mean? He might, so, he might not have a choice. I mean, he can't maybe, extend it. Maybe, maybe. You've got to call Parliament. Forever. Yeah, but yeah. You, you, you've got to call Parliament first. You know what I mean? You've got to call Parliament to the House and, and, then, and then work it out from there. You know what I mean? But we're in, 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 uh, we are in uh, Darurat right now. So basically, mm. nothing can happen until then. So it's up to the government to decide, you know. Of, of course, we want elections, you know. But I'm, as I said, I'm like this. Small, you know, so many big guns up there. You know, I am. I'm, I'm, I'm like the fly in the, mm-hmm. fly, in the hey, fly, fly in the world's good position. You know, to be, man. Sometimes <laughs> yeah. you can land anywhere you want and see yeah. you know, from every angle. Yeah, Hans, so, yeah. Hans for for, yeah, for people for people who don't really know that much about your personal background, tell us a little bit about your own background. I mean, with the names like that, Hans Isaac, what kind of <laughs> heritage do you have? Fifty uh, percent Portuguese, twenty five percent Filipino, twenty five percent Indian. Uh, born you in Jogobaru. Spanish. You got some Spanish blood. Portuguese. Right? Portuguese, 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 Portuguese. Yeah, fifty uh, percent Portuguese, huh? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was born in Johor, uh, nineteen seventy-one. Uh, my late dad was a naval officer. Then he was the aide to the king, uh, Tuan Ku, the late Tuan Ku Pahang, who was king at that time. My mom was a piano teacher and a housewife. Uh, I have a brother, sister. They are all live in Ampang. We're all here. The kids are all here. My nephew and nieces. Is. Um, I went to school in St. John's. Um, oh, oh, funny story. Funny story. I needed to use my, my, my certificates back in the day. I've never used it in my life, you know. Whenever I studied, I never, ever had to use it in my life. But recently, I was asked for those documents and I couldn't find it. Oh, three days of hunting, man. I didn't find all. I only found a few. So I could only send that in. And I'm like, oh my God, where's the other? Where are the bigger ones? None. So it cannot back so your your dad was the uh, was Portuguese, uh, was he? No, he was Indian. Indian. Uh, oh, oh, is that, okay. So it's your mom's side that was Portuguese. mom's side, uh, Portuguese Filipino. Yeah. Was it from from Malacca? You said you were from you were born in Johor. Yeah, well, actually, my my late parents were from Singapore. Oh, they're from Singapore, right? Singapore, right. yeah, yeah. I was born. It was we were in Woodlands in the Navy base, and I was born in Johor. So you yeah. you're you're I guess officially classified as uh, Eurasian, is it? Would that yeah, but my dad put it down as Indian. In the passport, I don't know why. When he did, we we're more Eurasian oh. and, and then Indian, but I don't know why he went Indian. So we we, we continued that. So you're not done line line, lah. <laughs> yeah, you're Indian. 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 What, what what do you identify as? I mean, personally, you yourself, do you identify as Indian? Malaysian. That's a good answer. <laughs> actually, 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 you do you do capture that because you speak really good Malay, and I've known you from back in the days. You know your your, your yeah. circle of friends have always been you know multiracial and all that. So yes. Yeah. Yeah, in school it was weird, you know. My, my Malay was very bad when I was in St. John's, but I had ten of my gang lah, my Buddha Buddha, you know. I was the only non-Malay, nine and Malay, and that's where I picked up my Malay very quickly. And all my Malay friends, until today, I'm still friends with them. I play golf with them, I run with them, and you know, we're since standard three, standard two. I'm still friends with them today, and I, that's what I appreciate a lot: friendship. Un, you might not know this, but uh, Hans also represented Malaysia in golf, right? Am I, right? I did. Mm-hmm. I did. Mm. Well, in, in, we, we what mm. the sea games? Won, yeah, uh, the amateur world amateur in world Turkey. Amateur. Right. Yeah, in Turkey, yeah, I I, I was fifth in uh, all the countries. I, I ended up fifth as an amateur. Do you still play golf? I do. I, mean, I love it. Yeah. I love it. 
This is my golf hour, but I got to work and do this interview, so no golf today. <laughs> Actually, now during during this COVID period, how do you spend your days? I come to the office because uh, we have to sometimes pack stuff, and I do it myself with my boys. I don't allow my my guys to just pack the stuff on their own and send it in the lorries or vans. I actually go out and pack with them when I got the, the time. So if I don't have meetings or anything or meet anybody, I pack. So we're what, 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 yeah. what are you packing here? Yeah. Uh, Household stuff, food. Uh, this week oh. on Saturday, we're doing oh, oh. a food bank. Oh, the CSR. For, for, oh, for the NGO, NGO. Right, NGO. right, right, right. I week, thought you were doing... doing some e-commerce. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, we, 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 we buy the boxes, we pack it. Mm. We, we, okay. we, you know, we, we send, we're doing a food bank this week uh, for frontliners uh, in Ampang. Do you, you merge with, uh, just, uh, we know via Petra also does a lot of CSR. Do you all merge? Yes. Yeah. Not yet, no, yeah. I think Aflin's mm. Yaya San merges with them. Mm-hmm. Not me. I'm, I'm on my own. This is self funded, bro. I do it my own. Mm-hmm. It's all yeah, let's Isaac. talk a little bit more about that. Lah. Tell us more about your NGO. Let's 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 do it. Well, it's it's my NGO is 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 as I again kita berampang. But how old is it now? Oh, we just registered like a couple of months ago only. On a single contract, nothing. I walk away with nothing except that name tag hunts, the government name, black name tag. I said that's what I'm gonna walk out is billing with. So when I got terminated, I put all my funds together that I earned from Finas and I called all the crew guys who were struggling at that point and I gave every cent out. So I don't have a, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't have a single thing from Finas. I gave all the money back, my entire salary. Wow. And it started from there. After that two days of giving out with my boys here, I said, you know what? I felt good. I said, let's do this again. And we did it again. Let's do it again. And then I was like, why, why, why are we thinking about it? Let's do this pro- professionally. Let's do it properly. You know what I mean? That's, that's fantastic. Good story. So it's, it's set up as partially a food bank, is it? Partially no, no. Anything, anything. I, I bought a bike for someone one day and just said, you know, he needed a motorbike. He has three kids. He couldn't, he was struggling to go to work. He didn't have any money. He didn't have a job. I bought him a motorbike and I gave it to him. I, said, I, need, a PS5, uh, I need a PS5. No, I don't buy a PS5. No, that's just <laughs> entertainment, bro. <laughs> From the time I know you, I know I, it's quite impressive how you've grown and you know you've always been positive you. and you know to a certain point you you know you you you've always been a very confident person although sometimes could come out as cocky i would say cocky. That, yeah, know, yeah yeah some people think us, i'm really arrogant us, us johorians are like that like, i'm johorian also so <laughs> you know but yeah, I, you know, you've, you've, you've achieved quite a lot so what do you think is the end goal for you okay before i explain the end goal i'm just gonna just i i got the muka sombo Mm-hmm. This, this, this is my Muka Sombong. Now, the reason why I have Muka Sombong is God gave me this face. Okay? Not Resting God, bitch face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Secondly is, when I used to walk around town, everybody used to like, I used to look down and just walk because I would be stopped. And once I got stopped, I'm stuck. So I got to just walk. So I had this Sombong face. But then when people met me, that's why a lot of people who bitch about me, they don't know me. So the people who know me say, uh, that means you don't know Hans. So if anybody says that about me, the people who know me say, ah, oh, that means you're not close to us because you don't know him. So when you get to know him and everyone who's met me after that always go, you're not what I thought. I was like, yeah, this is me. But I can't open myself up to everyone. You know what I mean? At that point, I, I just don't know how to. You know what I mean? I don't have the, the energy and the time to do that with everyone. But today that I'm meeting so many people in Ampang and they're coming to see me and the grassroots are here with me, I find it a little bit easier because I'm getting more training of engaging more, hearing stories, um, of them, their hard, uh, uh, the, the problems that they have uh, in their lives and so on, um, community issues. And you now have to, in short, sorry to say this word, you have to shut up and listen. Listen. I know in an interview, we have to talk because it's an interview. But when you sit down with people who are in front of you, who want your time, you listen. That's basically it. So that, that I start, that's, that's something I need to share, you know. End, end game is... End game is to help more people. How I do it, I don't know. Um, I need help. I can't do this alone. Um, you know, I know I can't do this alone. I, I, need, I, need, I need support, you know what I mean? Um, and, and if the opportunity comes one day for me to, to move up in Ampang or anywhere in Malaysia or another GLC, uh, government agency or an NGO or whatever it is, I, I hope it's, it's something that I can help uh, the cause, the cause of a better Malaysia. The cause of us being united, irrelevant of how we feel about each other, we can still communicate with respect to each other. We do not have to be rude to each other. We do not have to shoot each other down. You know what I mean? This is how this country is going to grow. 
So Hans, if somebody yes. wants to help out your NGO, where do they go to? Is there a website or how do uh, they you reach can, out to you? Well, you can reach out to my, my uh, Instagram, Hans Isaac. You can go to Kita Buddha Ampang on Instagram as well. We got the Facebook. It's all there. If you go to my social media, you can see videos and everything. And you, a lot of people DM me directly and say, can I? And I snapshot it and send it to my offices and then they will contact them to come on board, you know? So um, they should contact you through social media. Social right? media. I mean, today it's social media. Well. Okay. You know, or they can call and, the office all there. And what if somebody wants to support your political campaign? What should they do? Same thing. Contact you they through do? social media. Come, come <laughs> see me in the office in Ampang, man. <laughs> <laughs> I need all the help I can get. No. <laughs> so hopefully one day when you become a minister, you don't forget us, man. I, that's not. I, no, 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 no. That, that's not on the cards. No. That's, you, that's... you, you must grant us a podcast. You know, my, my, guys, my, guys, late, you... my wait, wait, hang on. Listen to me. My, my, my late master told me if you're into politics, if you don't want to become the prime minister, don't waste your time. <laughs> you know, know everybody know. has has to have that aspiration. It's, it's. It, I know. As I said, I just do the work, guys. I just need to do the work. And that, will, and, and that will suffice, you know. That will actually help. You know? Yeah. But we'll, we'll let others decide my destiny, you know. I, I, will not, I will not push my destiny. I can work for it, but the destiny sometimes is in other people's path to help me out. That's where I'm going to need to help. Yeah. Right. Mm. Well, right. well, Hans, thank you very much for this Thanks, uh, guys. podcast. Thank really you so much. I, I really enjoyed enjoy this, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Enjoy Bro. chatting with you. And like I said, reach out anytime you need help or anything. Okay. I appreciate yes, buddy. it, buddy. Thank you so much, guys. All thank right. you. I thanks, appreciate thanks, it. Good thanks, luck, guys. Hans. Thanks, okay. thanks. Bye. 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 See you guys, man. Thanks for listening to OJ Chit Chats. We hope you enjoyed our podcast. Support us by becoming a patron at patreon.com. Alternatively, you can listen to us on www.ojchitchats.com or follow OJ Chit Chats on Instagram and Facebook. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's juicy.